I feel this video is going to be very, very heavy on the pickups. So if you like seeing the kind of stuff that a reseller like me that kind of, you know, goes into kind of every single category and dips in, then yeah, this is probably a good one for you. Another day, another boot sale. It is Saturday morning. My usual Saturday morning boot sales are still not on. The fields are too wet. They put some posts out yesterday on Facebook just showing their like swamps. But there is this one, and it's not that far away from me, but I've never been here before. And it's the first one to come on. And they're offering free sellers and free buyers for the next four weeks, I think, for the whole of April. So, you know, you can't really argue with that, can you? So I've literally just driven in, parked up. There's a good few sellers here. I don't know if you can see that. There's a few. You're not going to be able to see the whole lot because it goes a bit further down that way. But yeah, let's... Uh, it did, do you know what? One thing I will add, it said sellers from seven, buyers from eight. I've got here at half seven just to test the water and see, and I'm pretty sure they let buyers in. So it's one of those where they probably say eight just to keep people away a little bit. But by the looks of things, you can just wander straight over and get buying. So that is what I'm going to do. Let's get over there and see what we can find. Here we go then. Fair few uh, sellers, a few buyers already as well. But see what we can find there. Yeah. Oh, okay, they're not an eight, no? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Would you take eight for them? Would you do eight for them? Yeah. Yeah? How much is the shirt, please? Yeah? Great, thank you. So what, four for all of yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, I'll take that. Thank you. Slightly regretting not wearing a coat or hat because it said it was going to be 14 degrees. It's not that warm, so I found the world's wobbliest hat in the car. So we'll rock this now. <laughs> you got remotes on any of these at all, mate? Have they got remotes or? No. That's right. What about the VHS in the middle? Now, how much would you want for that one? So three quick, three pound, yeah? You take two because of the remote? Yeah, cool. thank you. radio speakers are in pretty decent condition just need to find out how much he wants for it <clears throat> what do you want on this cd kit mate the sony one eight quid yeah what about what's that mac what have you got on that 20 quid on that. Yeah. did you do five on this how much are the programs, eh? Right? Yeah, maybe. Uh, let's ask there's a few Everton and Spurs as well, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah, three quid? Ah, oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, cheers. Camera, man. 
Well, far from the biggest haul going, but considering it was the only boot sale on for some distance, I can't really complain. You know, there was a fair few sellers there, got some all right bits, there should be some nice profit. We'll get back to the garage and have a little look at the items that we picked up in a bit more detail, what I believe I can fetch for them, because, you know, some nice electronics there, they were the main things. I don't know much about that Sony Handycam, did pay a tenner for it, uh, couldn't find anything on eBay, but... My search on eBay is being dodgy at times. Sometimes you're getting like 2,000 results even when you're being really specific. So, need to have a little look into that when we get back. But I've got a little bit of time. It is now 8.50. So I've been here an hour and 20 minutes and there's a couple of charity shops I can pop into on the way back. And then I've got to get back because my son He's got a birthday party to go to today, so I'm taking him to that. So I've just got a time, I reckon, to pop into these two charity shops and head back. So yeah, fingers crossed. We find some bits in there and you can come and have a little look what we find. It's an easy peasy pick up, isn't it? That face, fairly sick, good. Weirdly, probably wouldn't paint it out of boot sale for it, but in a charity shop, good condition. It's gonna be a quick, easy seller, like 2025. First time finding this for me. Definitely not my first time finding it though. Not the easiest to check trousers in here. <laughs> right, we are back in the garage, but I'm going to head straight back out again because, as I said in a previous video, I think it is half term right now. It's pretty busy, it's pretty hectic. Normal schedule is completely and utterly out the window with the kids around, having to do bits and pieces with them and fit and work here and there. So this video, I'm gonna lump on another boot sale I went to and then another boot sale I went to that I didn't get any footage from because, well, I just didn't. So let's go check out this other boot sale I went to. You'll see a few of the pickups I got and then we'll get back here and go through all of this lot behind me because I've got a lot of stock that I need to get on with. I've only gone and left the IKEA bag in the garage, haven't I? So, a little small bag it is. How much is the clock, mate? Five, mate. A few quid on it, way. This is the battery bit on the back. Oh. You got any orange chair, mate? Shut up. I take it as a chair. Shut it. It's mad. It's pretty weird, isn't it? Oh yeah, I was waiting for that fella to leave and he did so. <laughs> Didn't know if he'd taken them or not. Oh. Oh, did you do 15 for these four? Must be good then. Just this little one here. Go on, mate. Go on. Yeah, yeah, go on. Yeah. Well, not a great amount grabbed just yet. Got this clock obviously for three quid. This for 10, they pay quite a bit for this, but I think this can fetch quite decent money. Another edition of Copit, so as I showed you in a recent video, that goes really well. So I paid 15 quid for these four. That was a comp. I thought this was a really good game, but I think I remember it because it's absolutely useless. Fetches like a fiver if, if, if that on eBay. Totopoly bit of a classic show you that when we get back that's the nice addition with the metal pieces and this super pro shoot I don't know I took a bit of a risk on this one as well um, I've never ever seen it before but hopefully that's a good thing so we'll have a little look at, at that later as well but otherwise I did get a pair of Timberlands as well three quid for these like deck boat shoe things but yeah not too great so far I'm gonna have one more little wonder and then we might have to move on to the next boot sale and now we are back in the garage again 
and we can start to go through some of the things I picked up. So like I say, it's a bit of firefighting this week really. I've been going to boot sales, picking up because I don't want to miss opportunity to source because everything else you can catch up with. If I choose not to go to a boot sale, I can't catch up with that boot sale that I didn't go to. So I am prior prioritizing buying stock this week. Um, you know, I'm very, very used to the fact that half terms are busy and not necessarily focused, focused on work like I would be in you know school term times. So now it's a good opportunity just to just buy a load of stock, get it all piled up, and then next week we'll be all hands on deck, photographing, listing, and fingers crossed, selling. So yeah, let's have a little look at some of the things I picked up. Well, I really do have stock absolutely everywhere at the moment. Some of this, I mean, those clothes there, they are actually done. They just need to go over to the uni. I've got some shoes that need to be doing. Those chairs, I still haven't photographed them. I've cleaned them all up, but haven't photographed them yet. But yeah, all of this is boot sale pickups. This is boot sale pickups. This is boot sale pickups. This is that lamp. That's still not done. This was a charity shop pickup. Some more boot sale pickups. So yeah, let's have a look. Where do we start? So the first boot sale that you guys will have seen was not this one. Believe it or not, because you did see me pick up a Sony unit, but I picked up another Sony unit. So the first one I picked up, you know, I haven't looked at this yet. I was interested to see if they were the same. They're not. So the first one I picked up, these probably aren't going to be in the right order that I actually picked them up in. But it was this Sony set here. I don't know if you can read that down there. I don't want to look at this box. It is a CMT CPZ1 DAB. So these DAB radio hi-fi units, pretty desirable. That is just a bit of a thing, but yeah, I think I showed you in the field. Speakers are all good, very, very nice condition. Obviously, no idea if it works, but that was a fiver, so yeah, fingers crossed we should have our money safe there. But if it is good, then obviously I'll pop some screenshots up on what you can expect to get for these. But these, yeah, micro units, when you get the big, these double wall boxes, they tend to fit in there quite nicely. It's not a real pain to send, so well worth picking those up. Let's move this out of the way over. Yeah, I'll we'll check those out in a second. Right, the second thing I picked up, I'll move those onto there. Let's put these God, stuff everywhere at the moment. No idea what happened then. The GoPro just glitched out a bit and stopped recording, but yeah, back on it. So, the Lego, you saw the Lego. So this is a Lego City set, quite a modern one, 60073. Again, I don't know if this is complete. I'm assuming it is. But let's have a quick open. I haven't even opened these up yet. Ah, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, obviously, it's very, very hard to tell. But I don't even know if some of those bags have been opened. Well, GoPro's acting up a little bit. Hoping this is nothing to worry about. Anyway, yeah, so we've got that one. We got this one, which is quite a cool system, um, system, quite a cool set, 6043. Again, I need to really get this open and check, but these kind of medieval style Lego sets, these can be quite valuable. I think from a quick search, that was about 20, 25 quid if it was uh, complete. So, you know, from four pound, we've got those two sets there. And then we had this box as well, which was just full of loads of different bits and pieces. I think this is like a Playmobil, isn't it? That's not Lego. So we've got some Playmobil in there as well. But these caught my eye, these kind of castle dragons. And these are the only thing I have actually looked up from this box. And they, on their own, seem to get about 20 quid. And there is two of them in there. If he's got his second ring, I think that's it there. So he has got that. So yeah, screenshots popped up if I found them. But I think they fetch about 15, 20 quid. But potentially there might be a bit of a set in here this looks like a real mishmash of stuff what does that say bull island made in germany so yeah some some work to do in terms of looking at what these other bits and pieces are in here because <laughs> there really is a bit of everything there's a 1971 britain's pig wow there's him wow he looks pretty cool I don't know enough about Lego to be able to say, yep, this is definite, but I know the castle medieval stuff can do quite well. So yeah, a bit of work to um, to be put into here. I think I found another animal. Yep, certainly not a bad one. I've got another sordid guy there. Anyway, we'll move on from that, but yeah, if I pop some screenshots up, 
hopefully there was some there's some nice stuff in this little box as well so at four pounds i'm very very happy with that little purchase right and underneath here i can see now there's the first purchase of the day at this boot sale and it was this pair of nike air force ones i mean they look like they've been barely worn so for whatever reason there's hardly any creasing a little bit there but on the outers on the outside edge there's that little scratch maybe there so i paid eight pounds for this didn't i i think she asked for a tenner but yeah really really nice condition they're a size six not an eight as the box suggested i don't even know if it was an air force one box was it no it was an air max 90 box so that's why it didn't match but yeah they can you know everyone's after white or for air force ones all the time like new what are they like 90 quid or something like that so at eight pound they should go quite well i'll put some screenshots up obviously then we also got like i say this one that was a fiver i should have already shown you what we can get for that i got a vhs player from this boot sale as well didn't i ah, here it is so this vhs player down here sony set it didn't obviously come with a remote which is a shame but it is the slv se 820 video plus and yeah sony sony stuff just Whatever it is about Sony gear, it's just uh, it's just well regarded, isn't it? Electronics, and they seem to fetch some pretty good money. I'm sure I'll pop a screenshot up. And then interestingly, with this, I thought it sounded familiar or looked familiar. This um, video camcorder, handy cam. And when I look this up, CCD F34, F340E. I was having trouble finding it when I was at the boot sale. But when I got home and did my research, I found my listing because <laughs> I have one of these. It's over in the box over there somewhere, but I've got one of these listed at the moment and it didn't work. It wouldn't, um, I think it wasn't displaying anything on the screen. So I've got it listed at like 20 quid spares repairs. But this one, obviously, let's give this a go, see how it goes. Because if I paid 10 pounds for that, but if working, that was going to fetch some pretty good money. I was, you know, I was happy i remember when i got the last one but only to find that it didn't work unfortunately but if it doesn't i think we may just strip them down for parts sell the plug sell the charger all that kind of jazz but yeah that was the first boot sale um it wasn't the best but it wasn't bad and we moved on to a charity shop after that and we got this one didn't we this was the first thing we got this fat face top at six pounds again the early i think i said it in the video at the time they just sell very nice and easily can't really go wrong with the fat face stuff and then into the second i'm trying to remember what this shirt is where did i get this shirt oh no that was at the same boot sale wasn't it i picked this up for a pound again fairway oxford regular fit 2xl really good size striped shirt so i'll pop some screenshots up for that but that was also from that boot sale so really nice and then we got these two in a second charity shop we got this, which I've never found before. I see a lot of, especially, uh, you know, the ladies clothing sellers picking toast up, made in Portugal, always a very nice sign. Nothing too exciting about it. It's just a pretty plain black long sleeve, three button top. But what did I pay for that? Two pounds in that shop, I think they are. So that was really nice. And then John Smedley, don't often see ladies John Smedley. Tends to, see, tends to be men's stuff. But I'm pretty sure this is a ladies John Smedley. I think there was a, a size somewhere, was there? They just feel so nice. Such quality cotton. I think this is potentially new because it's got these little stickers on the inside. Um, it might not be ladies. It might be men's. It just seems to be a slightly different cut. But we will investigate that and I'll pop up a screenshot to show you what kind of price I feel we can get for that as well. But yeah, that was the first day, wasn't it? So that was Saturday. And on that Saturday, we went to that one boot sale, went to two charity shops, wasn't too bad. And then on Sunday, I went to the boot sale, which you'll have seen some footage now. And it was slow. There wasn't a great deal there, to be honest. Um, like, it was just one of those where there was a lot of people there, but I was walking around and just not really finding much. And to make matters worse, I was seeing people walking away with some amazing stuff. And I'm like, no, how have you managed to find that? And I'm just seeing nothing. But it did it did speed up a little bit, and we got some bits that I saw on the footage. 
So I think the first thing we got was this clock. Mannix. I probably shouldn't put it on that shirt because it's pretty filth. So yeah, we've got this shirt here, Mannix Quartz. It's a very nice retro design, kind of fake wood looking. It's actually plastic, it's not wood at all. At first in the video, I thought that that was missing a battery thing on the back there. So I said to him, will he accept three quid? Can you see those slugs trails on that? Oh my God, didn't notice that. Ooh. <laughs> but um, yeah, made in Taiwan, but that, I don't think it is missing. So I've got to put a battery in there just to make sure it works, but fairly confident, looks pretty good condition with the exception of the the grime on it. But yeah, three pound. I think we could probably see about 30 quid back for that. I've just caught my eye here. That I forgot to go through these from the previous boot sale. So you saw me look at these um, programs. Now there's a lot of Arsenal ones. Now let me just see which one it was. There's one of these here. Here we go. There's quite a few of them. Uh, sorry, not quite a few. There's two of them that have a lot of autographs on the back. So there's this one that I put here. Oh, I didn't. There's another one mixed in here that's got a lot of Arsenal um, signatures as well as Villa signatures. And my uncle is is a huge gooner. It's the reason I'm a gooner because I grew up with him being massive Arsenal and obviously used to get me shirts and all that kind of stuff. So I messaged him and said, oh, look, I picked up these programs, sent him the picture of Arsenal Newcastle. And he said, was that the 4th of December, 1976? I think it was. And I said, why? No way. Were you at that match? He said, yeah, I was. And he sent me a message saying he stayed at like his aunties, my great aunties and went there. So he'd probably been about 16, 17. Um, and yeah, unbelievably, like, what's that, 48 years later or something, I pick up the program in a boot sale field in Essex. So, yeah, mad how, how the kind of stuff that you can find. But there's not a huge amount of value to these, but there is quite a lot of them. So there's a big old chunk of Arsenal, a smaller chunk of Spurs. Oh, burnt my fingers there. Um, but, yeah, not a huge amount of value, but three quid for the lot, um, which also included a pile of Everton, which I won't name them, I won't mention, but I saw someone on Instagram put something about um, their dad who's a true Evertonian uh, and yeah go, they're going for a bit of a tough patch at the moment so I've sent those over to them just as a little you know just a nice thing to do you know I just felt that that was a good thing there's not a huge amount of value to them but I'm pretty sure that he'll really be able to appreciate those and get some pleasure out of them so I've sent them over there which is why they're not here you probably saw them in the video but yeah they've gone to a very very nice home but when I went to pay him the three pound, I only had a tenner. And I, I said, um, have you got change? And he kind of grunted a little bit. He's actually the same guy I bought this off. I just so happened to see these three DS games sitting on his table. So I said, how much are they? And he said, they're a pound each. So I said, well, would you do a fiver? And then, because I could see he had a five pound note. He said, yes, I gave him the 10, he gave me the five. So I got all the programs and these three games for a fiver. Now, obviously, I knew that this probably was going to have some value. Wasn't too sure about these two. But again, I'll pop up some screenshots now of the three of them. Show you what kind of value these can get. But yeah, you're always going to be pretty safe with Mario. Now, that is finally that boot sale done. You can tell it's been a little while since I was at this boot sale and trying to remember everything I got. But yeah, that was the first pickup at this boot sale, wasn't it? So we've got that. And I also got this off this guy. Oh, where'd that come from? So much stuff everywhere. Now, I saw this sitting there. And at first, I was a bit confused as to what it actually was. But I thought, Do you know what? It looks like something you sit on. And it's got like a, a ball in there, an inflatable ball. It has got a brand made in Germany. I think it's called Top Star. I did a quick Google lens on it. And yeah, it's supposed to be like good for your posture, good for keep your back in a, in a good place, all that kind of stuff. But anyway, I asked how much he wanted. I think you saw, I paid a tenner. Now you can't really buy these in this country. So it's a lot of European listings and American, but I don't know. I'm really not too sure what we're going to get for it. I'll pop some screenshots up now of what it is and listings and solds, etc. But yeah, hopefully some, some fairly good money back from that. So I was happy to pay a tenner on it. All right, I'm just trying to remember what else I got from that boot sale. We've got this, we've got the clock. 
Ah, we got the games. Oh, look, I just got so much stuff. Do you know what? I might have to cut this video short. I've, I don't want you guys just being absolutely overrun by things I've picked up because they were the following boot sale. I've got quite a lot of footwear at the next boot sale that I did actually go to off the back of that boot sale. There we go. So, oh yeah, I think they were from there as well, weren't they? So I've got those at that boot sale. They were three quid. Nice pair of Timberland deck shoes. Haven't really had much use. Um, yeah, so they were all the next boot sale as well. So we've got the Coppet, as you saw. That fetches like 20, 25 quid. So I paid 15 pounds for these four. I don't know if you actually heard him in the video, but I called out 15 good and his response was, cool, they must be good then. <laughs> and I thought, you know what? I shouldn't have offered, I should have offered a tenner, really, because that's a small game. He probably wouldn't have wanted a fiver for that. He was asking a fiver for those bigger ones. So I effectively paid him full price, really, because he was probably going to say a pound or something for the smaller one. But yeah, 15 quid, but I don't mind it. I like those guys. I buy a good few bits and pieces off them. The Railroader, complete and utter fail. Totopoly, if we open it up now, I'll show you what I mean, because I think in the initial footage, I said about the metal pieces. Now this is really, really good condition, this. If we have a look inside, take this little bit off, which is the board. You will see in here, obviously it's got all the pieces, it's in very nice condition, but it has got these metal pieces. So the later editions, I think, I'm almost sure I'm not making this up, came with cardboard pieces as opposed to the metal pieces. So yeah, you wanna be finding the bits, uh, finding the edition with the metal pieces, really, really nice. So yeah, that was a good find. Uh, let's try and put this back now. So yeah, we've got that one. And then that super crow shoot, which I have no idea about. I don't think at the time, and still not now, I was able to find much info about it. So when I come to edit, no doubt I will do a bit of searching. And if I can find anything a bit more about it, I will pop it on screen. Um, you know, including some screenshots or whatever, but I think, by the looks of things, it shoots out these little corks and you have to knock these little birds off. So, yeah, it looks like good fun. I'm sure my son would enjoy this, to be fair. So, maybe we'll give it a test, make sure it's working. But yeah, that was, it was a bit of a slow boots out there, but then we moved on to the second one. And this guy, I got here a little bit too late, but I managed to get these two, Mario Kart and the wheel and Wii Resorts for three pound for the three, because he had so much gaming stuff for a pound each. Xbox One games, PS4, PS, was there PS5? I'm not sure, but he certainly had a hell of a lot. And the bloke in front of me had about 20 odd games that he'd got for a pound each. And I he hadn't noticed the Wii bag, so I managed to get these out of the Wii bag, but yeah, he was clearing up on all the Xbox stuff. So got those for three pounds each, and then loads of bargain footwear. So we've got these Adidas golf shoes, pretty nice condition, just need a scrub and they'll look really good. They were two quid. Um, these Asics Gel Kayano 20 Fluid Ride, they were also two pounds. These uh, Nike, so I've got these and the Blazers from the same people, they wanted three quid each, so I've got the two for a fiver. Again, just really, really good condition. Not amazing sizes on these. These are only a size five, I believe. But the condition wise, when you're paying £2.50 for them, can't really go wrong, can you? Pair of Hokas, do the Hoka Coca, turn around. Again, pretty nice condition. Loads of tread still left on them. They were £3. And then, final pair picked up from this boot sale was this pair of Asics. Gel Cumulus, again, decent tread on them, nice size, yeah, good condition. They were, I think they were two or three pounds as well. I paid no more than three pounds for any pair of shoes on this day, which was um, a bit crazy. So yeah, I can add those shoes to this pile here, which also all need photographing. So I've got a lot of footwear at the moment that I need to get started with. And basically, as I think the probably thumbnail of this video is, just a lot of stock in general. I think there's still loads more stock that I picked up. I'll probably have to quickly flick and show you it because 
I put some of it on my Instagram. So again, do you know what? I, I gave my Instagram a little shout out in a previous video, which is Kev the Reseller is my name over on Instagram. And got quite a lot of people of you, quite a lot of you, came over and followed me over on Instagram. So yeah, if you want to go and check out the Instagram where I post a lot more kind of daily stuff and pickups and all that kind of jazz that I don't always necessarily get on footage here, then yeah, head over to there. But I feel this video is going to be very, very heavy on the pickups. So if you like seeing the kind of stuff that a reseller like me that kind of, you know, goes into kind of every single category and dips in, then yeah, this is probably a good one for you. But I'll turn you around again and continue with the madness of the pickups. So yeah, let's, do you know what? Let's show you this. Although this is one of my most recent pickups, I feel I'm gonna show you it now because it is a pretty incredible pickup, if I do say so myself. Now, I'll probably overlay a little video here of me finding this in the charity shop. And I'm gonna take this sticker off now because the longer that goes on there, the more of a mark it will make. So yeah, you'll see the sticker on the table in the charity shop for 20 pounds now if you see spiked things like this i am by no means a hi-fi enthusiast but i do very much like hi-fi and i'm aware of you know the, the the money that can be pumped into hi-fi stuff and the quality of some of the things that are out there now the weight on this that weighs a fair old chunk and i could see that that looked like a hi-fi um, rack because of the spike feet and just the general look of it so I google lensed it and it's a uh, is it called quadraponic quadraponic something like that I'll pop the screenshots up now but yeah these are really really high-end hi-fi rack and the last one on eBay on an auction I think sold for about 370 pounds I think it was that's all I've looked at the moment so if I've seen some other buy it now sold I'll pop those up as well but 20 quid really really nice find there's a few light marks to it but i don't think anything that's going to detract from the money we can get back for that so that was a lovely lovely find um i also found this in there which is a pasta maker that was eight pounds again i'll pop screenshots up of that because you've got to keep your eyes peeled for those pasta machines they do very very well so they were from a charity shop real quick whiz in um, in terms of a midweek boot sale that I also went to this week, we got a backwards compatible PS3 for a tenner. Don't know how that was left behind. Someone had looked at it and then put it back. It could be that they think it maybe doesn't work, but a tenner, I was willing to give it a go. I think spares and repairs, they still go for like 30 quid. We got another Sony Video Plus forehead, um, what do you call it? VHS player tape player cassette recorder one of them that was three pounds yep three pounds for that and it does have its remote as well well that, that sounds a bit iffy let's see what's sh yeah there's a significant amount of shaking around going on in there have these got a date on no they've got 2027 on the date so they could be good. Do you know what? I wonder if this camera... little tip for you. I don't know if it works on a GoPro, but it certainly works on a phone. If you press a button... Oh, there you go. It does work. So, to my eye, I can't see that light flashing. But on a camera, you can see that light flashing. So, it's a good opportunity for you, if you've only got the remotes, to see if they actually work. There you go. Tip of the vid. So, that has got... It's remote with it, so that's good. I'll no doubt put some screenshots up to show you the value on them. And then the other bits we've got from this boot sale. <laughs> I just, I'm just so overwhelmed with stock at the moment. I need to get sorted on this stuff. Um, Peaky Blinders, I paid a pound for that. It's brand new and sealed. I don't think it gets a great amount of money. I haven't watched this, so I was unaware of how many series there were. I wasn't sure if that was actually complete or just complete from one to four, and it is complete from one to four. So it's not the entire series, which is obviously never going in its favor. But I did get these two, which is quite nice. A 
Gibson's Mahjong set, so all the tiles in there. That's nice. Mahjong stuff always fetches quite good money. And this I just bought um, mostly for my daughter, but for the kids. But my daughter loves all these kind of, um, you know, difficult puzzle type things. And that looks pretty cool. 12 pieces. Got to make the perfect square from them. So that'll keep her entertained for a little while. Um, we've got another Sony set. Another Dab Radio Sony set. So this one is the CMT SPZ90DB. Again, with the remote, I don't think this has got batteries in, so I can't show you the little trick on this to make sure that's working. Nope. Um, but yeah, if that's working, then oh, what have we got in there? The very best of Engelbert Humperdinck. Come on. Wow. <laughs> um, if that's working, I'll pop up some screenshots, show what we can get for that, but that was a fiver. Same guy who I got the VHS player from. Went back and got this. He only wanted a fiver for it. Again, it's definitely, definitely very important to check these speakers because if these cones have been pushed in or you know ripped, then the speakers are worthless. So definitely make sure that you keep your eyes peeled if you uh, if you buy these systems. Just have a quick look at the speakers because as much as you maybe will be able to get money just for this on its own, obviously you want to make sure the speakers are there if possible. And then this was a pretty cool find. A Sony Walkman with a microphone. Now this had batteries in it at the time. So he asked for the batteries back, but it had batteries in and it was fully working. And these are speakers, so you could actually, it was picking up radio. Um, and there you can record on it, so pretty cool. I've never ever seen a Sony Walkman like this before, but I paid £10 for it. Where's the model so I can do my research when editing? It is the WMGX400. And at £10, I don't think I'm going to make loads of money on it, but I just couldn't really leave it. Because there was money in it and it will sell, I'm sure, pretty quickly, I took it. But yeah. And then at the same boots out, I picked up this chair. That was £5. Incredibly. Now, on, let's see if I can do this while I'm talking. I'm just going to take these boxes off and I'm going to flip this chair over just to show you that it is worth looking underneath these things because it will give you not only an indication on age but sometimes the answer completely as to the age of what you're looking at and this one did exactly that so if you flip this over you can already feel that it's a uh, good quality but on the underside here Oh, that would have been easy, wouldn't it? Goodness me, I hope you're not getting dizzy here. Apologies in advance for the dizziness. This pops out. So yeah, really good quality here. Let's get a bit of light there. So as you can see there, it says the 10th of August, 89. So this has got a fair bit of age to it. 35 year old chair, the Kent Carver for a customer called Morris in a tan color. Don't know what the Annie Annie tan. Yeah, so that is a, it's quite a nice chair. And in terms of that style and design, that should be able to fetch quite a good amount of money. I need to do a bit more research, which hopefully I may even will do when I come to edit this video. So you might see some nice screenshots of what I believe I can get for it. But a fiver, I most definitely couldn't leave that behind. That was also from the same guy. So I've got the VHS player, this, and this. What's that, five, 10, 13 pounds for those three items very very nice and i did get some other chairs but they're in the house i'm not going to show you them i'll put a picture up here because i put them on my instagram two pounds each for these like bentwood um like office style chairs really really nice they they kind of remind me of an 80s doctor's waiting room but yeah they they are good as well two pound each on them should be able to see some pretty good money back on those couldn't believe they were two quid but do you know what is that it? I think it might be. Let's let's go and sit down. Oh, well, well, well. So I have a lot of stock to be getting on with. So is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? Is it good to have loads and loads of stock laying all over the place? Obviously, um, there's two ways of looking at it. It's not great because if you're sat there, not listed, not photographed, you're not gonna be making any money from it. It's just sitting there. It's an investment, money down the drain that you are not recuperating. But on the positive side of things, 
it's all of those points reversed. I've got loads of stock here. I know that I've got lots of valuable stock to list. I know that it's decent stock. I know that it's probably going to sell. Yeah, so there's two ways of looking at it. I'm not always someone who gets too stressed out about having loads of like unworked stock because I know that when I get into the zone, I can absolutely smash through this. You know, having something like this is fantastic. I know I've probably showed it before, but having this photo box, you know, you can just get down there in the corner and just pop, 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 putting things in there and I can get loads and loads of photographs done in a pretty quick amount of time. And then, yeah, obviously, shove it off over to the unit or stick it in the boxes and the racking and then get listing so yeah it's not the end of the world but i would be intrigued i know there are people out there that really don't like having you know death piles as it sometimes get called um and really want to you know get it down and make sure that everything's sorted before they go out and buy more stuff <clears throat> i'm not really like that i'm more about if there's opportunities for buying i want to be out there and buying this stuff because yeah the more you got the more you can sell but anyway i'm rambling a bit now i'm gonna leave it there i'm gonna try my hardest to get this video edited and out tonight which is friday but i'm not making any promises so this may well be out on saturday but yeah thank you very very much for watching really really appreciate it as always if you did enjoy hitting that like button really does um do a lot for the channel you know it really helps the video get pushed out by youtube and all that kind of stuff so if you could do that i'd really appreciate it and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more recent content going forward because <clears throat> that is all i do on this channel thanks again for watching and i will catch you on the next one cheers